Today we're going to talk about landscapes and the foreground, middle ground, and background. Foreground is closer to us and the objects are usually large. The middle ground is in between the foreground and the background and the background has smaller items all the way in the back. We're going to walk through this um, paper craft and I'll show you how to create a landscape with a foreground, middle ground, background. All right, let's get started on our winter landscape. You're going to need a piece of white paper and we're going to do an accordion fold vertically. So I'm going to start at the bottom, bring a little fold up, line up the edges and give a nice crease, turn it over, bring up the bottom, line up the edges, a nice crease. Notice I just keep flipping it back and I'm folding on top of my previous fold. I want to leave a little bit of the edge. I want to leave a little bit unfolded for part of my background. And I think that will be just enough. Go ahead and take this and fold it in half. So first part's done. That will work out nicely. Now let's get a background. I found a piece of blue paper. We're gonna glue this to the background, but this is way too much paper here. So we're going to have to cut this down. I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half. I know this is going to line up like that. So I have to decide how big do I want the background to be and I want to do a curved edge on it. So I think I'll put my pencil here on the folded edge here. I'll have it be this tall, and I'm gonna do a curved line. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You should have this in the end. If you have two pieces of paper, you're gonna to have to tape them together or you can start over. So, so far, we will have something that looks like this. You can go ahead and So this is gonna go like this. This is part of my scene. This is the middle ground. This will be the foreground, that's the background. So I'm flipping this entire thing over and I'll put some glue around the edges. Now I can fold this. I'm gonna glue these two together. So I'll put a little more glue. And I'm just gonna to need to line that up. And you might have to hold it for a minute. And you should have something like this. So for our winter landscape, we have our foreground, the area that is nearest us, the middle ground, and the background. I want you to think of some items that you could put in your landscape. If you have scrap paper, that would be great. So I'm thinking maybe I do a little house in the background. I can go ahead and do a square. Maybe add a little roof here. So I know I'll probably have one like this. Go 
I want to add some texture on my roof, I can add some shingles. You can use crayons, colored pencils, markers. Add a little door. You can also keep adding paper if you wanted to have a couple windows. Overlap that a little bit so it sticks. You can add some more details in your windows. You could even do a chimney. And then I would stick this on my background. These items are gonna be smaller than the ones that are gonna go in the foreground. I wanna grab a tree. I fold it in half and draw on the folded edge, I will get a symmetrical tree and that means it's going to be the same on both sides. I can even add some details to the tree if I want. You can even make some stars in the background or a moon. You can draw these out or just freehand it, whichever is easier for you. Sometimes freehanding a crescent moon is not always easy. If you wanted to have stars, You could fold some paper together, draw your star, and go ahead and cut it out. Fun even to have a few going right off the page. Like that. Maybe I'd better move that one over. Then I can start thinking of what's going to come up in the foreground. You could even add a snowman. You could use paper to do this part, or you could just draw and color it. A lot of options for this. Go ahead and cut it out.
You don't have to do a snowman. You could do a, a car, a Christmas tree. Some kids playing in the snow. I think I'm just gonna put him right here. A little bit on that folded pleat. That might be fun to do a couple kids over here. You can even draw some more things back in on your landscape if you wanna do a little sidewalk or a mailbox. Have fun. All right, so this is our winter landscape. We have our foreground, our middle ground, and our background.